Hello, this is Scott Buceno from telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2022 and I'm talking to Enrico Salvatore from Qualcomm. So Enrico, why don't you just start by giving us an overview of some of the stuff you're talking about at the show? Yeah, uh, the show, first of all, we are very happy to be back in person in the show after two years. So it's, uh, even though <coughs> the overall environment is not just about the Mobile World Congress. But uh, very happy to be here and focusing on uh, the evolution of 5G. I would say that uh, 5G is now is uh, migrating to execution in the different industry sector, and in particular in IoT, industrial IoT. At the show, you can see very many examples of that in uh, execution phase, and in particular the IoT in terms of uh, connected intelligent edge to the devices is where we are focusing, but uh, we see the show is very much capturing that point. Yeah, so I mean, you, you make a good point. Obviously, this show is the first one we've all been out for three years, or well, most of us. Um, and so it provides an interesting snapshot of where 5G was three years ago and where it is now. But um, you know, in terms of Qualcomm's sort of specific, in, specific interest in it, perhaps you could drill down a bit into what you were just talking about with the connected intelligent edge and tell us what you're doing in that area. Yeah, the <clears throat> 5G evolution is uh, aligned what uh, we call the connectivity among the objects. That has been step one, making sure the connectivity is uh, happening, and it is happening, among the objects. Step two, in terms of revolution to achieve the famous digital transformation, is to give uh, intelligence to the objects, now that they are interconnected to the network, each other. And, and this is provided by the AI. So the two things combined are allowing the digital transformation. In order to do that, we are now focusing on step two, intelligence into the devices and connectivity end-to-end -to, -end to the cloud with applications and services that are into the cloud. And that is what we call the intelligent connected edge. Edge because uh, for some specific application, it's very critical to have uh, low latency, real time, and security, cyber security. So that means that uh, in the cloud, there are dedicated servers at the edge of the cloud that can interact with the device. And this is where we're focusing now. Of course, we work on the UE, on the device side, to make sure that this uh, connectivity, logic connectivity, and shake to the cloud for the service application is actually in the optimal way. And, and it's especially interesting for Qualcomm, because I mean, I've, I've known Qualcomm and I've been speaking to you for years, but originally it was always about the smartphones and the Snapdragon chip in the smartphones, but Qualcomm seems to be involved in so many more bits of, of the sort of 5G ecosystem right now. Perhaps to finish off, you could just tell us a little bit more about that and how Qualcomm's evolution in, in the 5G era has gone. Well, definitely we are very proud and happy to contribute with our technology to industry segments, sectors that are new to Qualcomm. But this is thanks to 5G. So 5G is the technology acting as a bridge from the classic traditional telco uh, ecosystem to other industry segments, IoT industry in any direction, agriculture, uh, smart cities, uh, e-health, uh, uh, automotive is another big example of that. So again, 5G is uh, enabling all the objects to be connected. Objects not only in terms of smartphone, tablet, PC, routers, cl classic, uh, uh, classic for Qualcomm, let's say, or let's say for the telco ecosystem, but also devices from uh, other industry segment. And that's why we, with our technology, are contributing now also on those new devices, new in terms of uh, different industry sectors. So that, that, that is the why and you will see uh, more and more to happening. Also about the participation to the show, we have uh, players that in the past were definitely not part of the telco ecosystem. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's what, that's what I've observed as well. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.